Good morning. I'm in Bulgaria, in Varna, uh, this morning. Uh, I've been here since yesterday um, because the Bulgarian Youth Council has uh, a national conference where um, they're addressing digital skills for a labor market and they've invited me to come and speak. So um, that's why I'm here in this very nice and sunny uh, city of Varna. And uh, currently I'm still in my hotel room. I was preparing um, some notes and now very soon we're going to have a small meeting downstairs with the other speakers. Um, and yeah, I'm just getting prepared. I have my little ENL pin here for uh, Estonian National Youth Council, which is what I represent. Um, and uh, I'm excited for the day to begin to speak, to meet some of the young activists here. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna take you along and you can see um, what this event is like and what I do in a day of uh, international representation. So, hope you enjoy. So we just had a little meeting uh, with all the panelists. Um, there are three. So one of them is a member of European Parliament. One of them is uh, from uh, trade, uh, trade unionist Matthews. And um, yeah, uh, I just got some coffee and we're gonna go to lunch soon and then it's gonna be panel time. <laughs> And it can also lead to be addicted, be always online. And this again leads often to burnout. Through overstimulation of information we get. For example, France and Germany, they have a 12% higher risk of burnout than other countries, only through digitalization. Oh, an actual project we have right now is in cooperation with Samsung. Uh, it's for vocational students. Um, they are offered a free training um, to give them the digital skills necessary for a labor market. The young people in the program will have an online portfolio uh, displaying their skills. Hello, uh, I was just doing a little interview of this uh, event we have here in Bulgaria and uh, I wanted to show you this uh, lovely girl from UN News. Hello, yes, yes. this is UN News, I'm Veselina Girgieva, yeah. we're in Varna, yeah. which is an amazing city and it will be a um, youth capital in 2017. Yes. So watch her channel, amazing person <laughs> and have a good day. 
So we're now finished with uh, the part where I had to speak. The rest of the event is in Bulgarian, so I can't understand it anyway. But I'm walking around Ivarna a little bit and then going back to the hotel to do some emails because tomorrow is the deadline uh, for uh, papers to run for the Port of the European Youth Forum. So um, I, ha I still have some wording to work on and um, then I hopefully I can get some advice from, uh, from friends on how I could improve the papers before tomorrow as well. Um, I don't know if you can hear me because it's really really loud but I'm getting some ice cream and then um, maybe going by the sea and then back to the hotel. Right, so I wanted to take the day together from uh, here in Varna. Um, I'm trying to get some clips of uh, the panel that I was part of. Um, there was some filming going on, so hopefully I can get those clips and then include them in this vlog. Um, it was a very, very good experience for me because... Um, so basically, we were talking about uh, digital skills for a labor market um, and they've had this event going on for a couple of days now today was the final day so they had the panel with uh, three speakers I was one of them we al also had a um, European Parliament member who is uh, from Bulgaria um, and then we had uh, Mateos from uh, uh, the trade union side so um, it was really really interesting um, it was very interesting to hear what uh, uh, Mateo said um, the uh, parliament member um, was, of course, very much a politician, um, which is, you know, obvious. Um, uh, but it was nice to see a very young, pol a, a younger politician uh, from the European Parliament, and um, it was also nice to see him, uh, you know, very actively engaging with us, and uh, he was in inviting us to contribute in a shadow report he's uh, working on, so hopefully there's some future cooperation there. Um, but of course it was more difficult to follow what uh, his speech was because uh, it was being translated to us while he was speaking. Um, right, so um, but what I mostly focused on in uh, my speech was, um, well I gave some background on Estonia in general, as there's a lot of interest in our e-government. Um, then I also talked about projects that uh, uh, Estonian National Youth Council is doing, um, like uh, we uh, have this uh, cooperation project with uh, Samsung and uh, Tallinn University um, to offer trainings for vocational students in uh, digital skills, um, you know, like building web content and how to share it and uh, creating a portfolio for themselves with their digital skills. So um, I talked a bit about that. Um, I talked about uh, how uh, we're working on um, a digital youth work, um, I don't know, agenda or concept, concept, um, in the uh, Estonian Ministry of Education um, and how, um, you know, we're trying to see if we can kind of squeeze it into the uh, topics for our presidency next year, which will be um, in a trio with Bulgaria, so that was a good link as well. So basically, I talked about some of our projects, um, probably some other things, but I don't want to make this ending bit uh, too long. Um, I have the awesome uh, night view of uh, Varna in my background here. Um, the city's been very nice, the food was absolutely delicious here. Um, all the people were amazing. We had a super nice conversation with some locals, um, uh, locals as in Bulgarians, not from this region. I think uh, they were not um, about startups, about um, vegetarianism, veganism, um, and it was a very very nice evening. All the people I met here were lovely, and um, yeah, I'm happy I was invited. I got so many questions at the panel, which was wonderful obviously there's so much interest so um i did, I did try to leave a uh, space for um well i did encourage them to get in touch with me later on as well 
Um, so if any of you are watching, then please do. And uh, if I don't know the information myself, of course, I will get you uh, someone who does know uh, these things better. Um, and yeah, it's been a lovely time here in Varna. Um, and uh, I will do my next vlog in Kosice, uh, where I'm heading to, headed to tomorrow after I'm basically the entire day <laughs> of traveling in airports. Um, but sometimes that's how it is. Um, so yes, I will see you next week. Um, maybe Monday, maybe not Monday. Monday is not the most exciting day of the European Youth Conference where I'm going to. Um, but thanks for following me around and uh, definitely, definitely leave some comments, ask questions. Um, yeah, just give me some feedback. Um, yeah, goodbye, and I will see you in Slovakia.